Hollywood, holla, if you hear me, we're creating a new movie. <clears throat> it's a live action packed run for your life fucking movie. Hollywood's tagging with banditos, is tagging with Hell's Angels, is tagging with Gypsy Jokers, is tagging with Mongols, Galloping Goose, and every other fucking patch holder out there. And we're eliminating everything that isn't Hollywood and patch holder. And I'm involving Taliban army into it too. Okay, because I'm part Hindu and part Egyptian. We want fucking mosques. My people, we want fucking mosques from East Coast to West Coast here in the United States. Y'all have AK-47, our type of AK-47, that weigh about a gram when you fucking lift them up with an index finger. Okay, stuff that is so controlled, it's 30,000 bullets in less than 10 seconds. Okay? And uh, I want you all to ordain yourselves as reverends. Because I'm an ordained reverend and I'm part thuggery, Taliban, Syrian army, Egyptian mob, and I'm part uh, Iraq terrorist. Okay, so we want to fucking bring terror to America because they like putting girls like me under Sharia law, starting out at a year old. And then they like framing up an Egyptian family when I was nine, four years ago. I was a crime victim. And then they colluded against the state, colluded against the year, everything else. So we want to wipe so we want to wipe out everything that's superpowers as well. And we want to wipe out the temple, except the Knights Templar bikers. Do I get granted blessing on all my wishes? And I'm gonna read the cards right now. Yes. Can cops touch me? Yes. Are they gonna? No. I brought big enough numbers to the table that they're going to leave me the fuck alone. No. Do I have right to freedom of speech? No. See, they're impeding on my federal rights. Right to freedom of speech. My constitutional amendment. Am I doing freedom of speech? Yes. Is the judge going to acquit me? No. Is Laura Ingram going to acquit me? No. Is she prosecuting all of them? Yes. Am I protected? No. Am I safe? No. Am I locked in security with all my people? No. Am I close to being locked in security? Yes. Every club is identifying me as a biker bitch. Yes. Every club accepts me in. Yes. Do the hells accept me? Yes. Do the bandidos accept me? They are fucking teed. Yeah, all day, every day. All day, every day. And I, I got dyslexia and stuff. All day, every day. All day, every day. All day, every day. All day, every day. And that C wasn't Crips. That C was Mongols Motorcycle Club. Mongols, teach me your correct handshake. And don't fucking... Go cross side, go, go cross sideways on me. If you're telling me that you need to add in a little blue in there, okay? Um, when I tell him it's a hell's tattoo, uh, and I explain how every, how it's trying to mix every club into peace and harmony, and he goes, "You need to add a little bit of blue in there." The Mongol told me that. Sworn rivals of the Hell's Angels, like just for saying that shit, you could get stabbed right there on the spot. Okay, uh, he didn't stab me though. He said, and then he comes up to me, 60 bucks, and I'll take care of your problem. I said, I got to pray on it first. Well, Mongols, I've done the prayer, and uh, I get 60 bucks on the first. Um, I would be more than happy to hand out money to homeless where uh, they can kick it back to you, and then you're, and then you got your payoff. Or uh, if all you were looking for is me to say, yeah, I'll pay the 60 bucks and it unties all your hands to rip chains, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. By the way, $5 bike washes, that's who's going to pay the deficit. His name is Hitch, riding with Unchained Brotherhood Motorcycle Club. Go collect the money from him because he put out there $5 bike washes for everybody. Having me young, looking like 12 years old, fucking washing his motorcycle tire. Takes a snapshot of it and does it on Facebook. So, being as he's saying he's going to pay the deficit, go to him and collect money out of him. Because he 
he basically told every biker he's paying the deficit. So talk to Hitch, a chapter president of Unchained Brotherhood Motorcycle Club. I believe he's a regional officer. Um, talk to him. See if uh, he can't pay the deficit for his baby sister, who he missed all of her birthdays, who he missed all of their all of her Christmases, missed her first date, shit like that, dude. Have him pay up the deficit. He's my older brother. And I'm his baby sister. Tell him his baby sister wants him to pay the deficit because she ain't got the money. Tell Hitch, uh, yeah, tell him that uh, me and Scrappy can do a movie together. That's a triple X movie, or me and Dallas can, and uh, it will be respectful. Like, they're not going to tear me up. Tell him it's going to be under Hollywood contract. Because I would love to carry Scrappy or hit or Scrappy or Dallas's baby. Because that's solid protection. And then my mom raises our baby with me in the picture of raising our baby in another state. Mom's all the way, dude. Mom, if she su su even remotely suspects weirdo, she will eliminate that. Mom and I have the same exact morals, beliefs, and values. So, Mom, you're getting the tattoo, too. Stepdad, you're getting the tattoo, too. Okay, and I will have freehand that shit out. Okay? You're getting a bandito tattoo. End of fucking story. You guys got problems? I'm about to remove your problems from you. You're getting the fucking tattoo. Okay, you're going to show support to solely earn a daddy. that you guys fuck me over any dude you guys will not see the light of day but I don't think you guys are going to do that I think you guys legitimately have a loving caring heart that want to help me I think you guys are going to move me into your mansion with you. And I think you guys are going to get me into careers and shit. I want to be so busy with like five, six careers. Careers, not jobs. Five or six careers. So that way I ain't got time to think. I want to be working seven days a week. From uh, like eight, nine o'clock in the morning till uh, like six o'clock at night. Those kind of work hours. And then band practice after work. And then band practice five or seven days after work. So, uh, let's go ahead and ante up. Bikers, what do we got to lose? Nothing. All the cops going to do is fuck with our clubs. We need to bring war to their table. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in greener pastures. He gives me everything that I need and most of what I want. He stands beside me with rod and staff and prepares a feast at the table with my enemies. God breaks bread among everybody, causing peace and harmony to be with all. That's my take on the 23rd Psalm. God's got a big rod and big staff. So if any fucking predators try to hurt me, or any fucking clubs try to hurt me, God's got, God's got the control on the situation. I'll leave that. God ain't gonna let me die. God hasn't yet. Why would God now? By the way, bikers, line me up with line me up with a knife that I can defend myself with. Okay, I want that fucking knife to look scary as fuck. So if I gotta pull it on a cop or some shit, 
and stick them in the stomach before he can throw the cuffs on me, I can do so. Believe me, I'm as fast as Kate Beckinsale from Underworld with a fucking knife. I'm quicker than she is. I'm quicker than Uma Thurman with the knife scene to the fucking, um, to the fucking chick that pointed the box of cereal with the gun in it. I'm quicker than her at that move. I sidestepped. Boom. Knife. Boom. Knife. Two officers dead. If it comes down to that. I don't think it will. But you never know. With uh, pedophile cops, you never know. That's why I'm asking for every club to join in and uh, dish out the beatings to the cops. It may be big and bad. They ain't fucking hells and banditos bad. Notice how I said that hells. Notice how I said that bad. Banditos, they ain't us bad. And we need to fuck them up. Every last one of them. We need to fuck up the people out in society that making death threats towards me and shit. Talking about, I gotta go to get a piece and shit right at my front door. We need to jack these motherfuckers up. By next month, I want 150 million uh, banditos in fucking Washington State. Or 50 million of you guys. I want 300,000 Hells Angels. And you guys are tagging together, not tagging against each other. Alright, let the predominant patches be known in Washington State that they fucked up. And that retaliation is coming soon. Because meanwhile, while I'm in California, I can go to a Hindu restaurant and speak to them and say, can we set up mosques on every street corner in Washington State? So then the Taliban comes up here in numbers. Now we're able to take it on head on and none of ours get killed, hurt or nothing. We're the last one standing. Everyone else in Washington State, dead. By the way, I can also talk to the Mexican Mafia while I'm down there and let them know I'm part Latino and they're ripping a Latino girl that had a 13 tattooed on her left shin. Normally that would be a death blow, but the second that I say it was on the left shin, oh, that's a girl. Because only girls get that shit tattooed on their left shin down by the crease and bend of their foot. And the, and the Mexican Mafia will give the orders to the Barrio Azteca, the Latin Lolocos, the Latin Kings, Latin Queens. And Sleepy Malo will send it up in numbers along with the Mexican drug cartel. They want fucking problems, we gonna bring fucking problems, I say. We gonna fucking handle this shit. Every 13th street out there, fucking handle the problem. Mexican Mafia, will you please jump into play? Barrio Aztecas, will you please jump into play? With the fucking Latin Kings and the Latin Queens of New York. Banditos, will you tag with them? Hells, will you tag with them? Gypsy Jokers, will you be down? Galloping Goose, will you jump in the mix? Vago Nation, will you please join in? Get me down to California safely. And then bring it all up here to Washington State. And anything that ain't tagging with that and tagging with Taliban, Taliban's going to run the whole shit because they're the biggest and baddest fucking terrorists labeled. So we want to involve the fucking Taliban. All right. I'm not playing. Everything in Washington State that ain't patch friendly is dead. Let's go ahead and line up the numbers.